In this short tutorial, we're going to talk about how to create a simple Google form uh, where a user can submit some sort of input. And then based on that input, we're going to take some of that information and use it to generate a customized response email to that individual. So I've already gone ahead and created a test form. Um, so let's go ahead and look at what some of those fields are. Um, and as we can see here, I've got some pretty standard fields. I've got a, a text box where a user can input their name, a text box where they could input an email, and then a drop-down menu where they could select from one of two dates. So let's go ahead and um, input some of that data just so we can see what it's going to look like in our spreadsheet on the back end. Go ahead and submit that. And then toggle over to our response form. Um, and as we can see here, you know, we've got a number of different columns that correspond to the, the fields on our form. Uh, we're always going to have this timestamp over here on the far left. Um, you know, the second column, uh, B column, is going to be for the name, C for email, and D for the date. Um, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and let's open up our script editor using the tools menu. Um, and then we're going to start out by scripting a simple program to that's going to take some of that user input information and use it to generate um, a customized email. So the first thing we're going to want to do um, with this function, and you can leave it named my function, you could name it something else, we're going to want to pass that an event parameter. And what that's going to do is the event parameter is going to take all of the information whenever a user submits the form. Um, and pass it into that event parameter. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull specific values out of that event that are going to become that we're going to use to populate the email. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to create some variables to store some of those event values. So the first one we'll create we'll call we'll, call, we'll create a variable called username and we'll make it equal to e values one. Um, now it's important to remember that these spreadsheets are going to use zero indexing so uh, if you were to numerically describe each one of these columns this one over here on the far left would be column zero followed by column one two and three so when we use the E values um, and we specify which column we're going to do we're going to want to remember that hey you know we're using zero indexing here so this name is actually column one when I do one for email we're going to pull that data from column two so um, after I've created my variable for username, we'll go ahead and create one for user email. We'll make that equal to e values 2. We'll do the same thing for date, create another variable for that. Make that equal to 3. Um, and so now we've got pretty much all of the individual pieces of data that we're going to want to pull out of this spreadsheet. Um, but if we're thinking about eventually sending an email, we might also want to define um, a subject line for the email. So we'll create another variable for subject. Then we'll open some quotation marks so that we can indicate that we're writing a string. We'll just say something simple like form submitted. Then we also might want to create the message or the body of the email. So go ahead and do that. Open up some quotes to indicate a string again. We'll do thank you. And this is where we're going to want to sort of start pulling in some of our data. So thank you username. For choosing Um, and so that will be the body of our email. And so once we've done that, we've got all of our different variables defined. Um, we're going to want to come down here and we're going to run want to run uh, the mail app method. Um, and so that's going to take three different arguments. We're going to have a recipient, a subject line for the email, and then the body of the email. So in the recipient, we're going to change this to our variable user email. And then we're going to want to change body to correspond to our variable message. Okay, and the last thing that we're going to want to do here um, 
is so now that we have this script written, um, this script is going to basically tell this spreadsheet what to do whenever a user submits any kind of form data. Um, so we're telling it what to do, but not necessarily when to do it. So the last thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a trigger. And this is going to tell the script when to run. So we're going to open up the resources menu in the script editor, open up current projects triggers. And as we can see, we have no triggers set up right now. So we'll go ahead and click to add one. And so we're going to run my function. Um, the event is going to come from the spreadsheet, so any of that data that's submitted to the spreadsheet, that's where we're going to be pulling from. And instead of on open, we're going to change that to on form submit. So when a user submits a form, it's going to pull that event data from the spreadsheet and run my function, which is going to trigger that mail app. So we'll go ahead and save that. Um, and then once we do that and we set up that kind of trigger, since we're accessing Gmail to send that email, it's going to ask us to authorize. So we'll go ahead and click continue. Um, and it's going to just tell you what it's trying to do, view and manage your spreadsheets and send email as you. So we'll go ahead and accept both of those. We'll save this trigger. And then we'll save this whole script. And so now that we've done that, let's come back out here to our live form. Let's go ahead and let's submit a response. come back over and check our spreadsheet we can see that there we've got that third response and then if we go back out here and check our Gmail account we can see here that we've got this personalized email so with the subject line for sub submitted thank you Jeff for choosing this date you can see that we've got a, a few spacing errors to work out um, in our code but that's the basics of how you would use Google Forms to send uh, customized email